What's going on, YouTube? Man, I'm going to start this video off with this phrase or this question to set this video off. Who freaking cares what your friends think about you? Let me paint the picture. There are some of you right now. Let me turn this heat down a little bit. I'm about to burn up. Um, there's some of you right now. When you go to your closet to go out, the only thing that drives you to pick the outfit that you're going to wear is what your friends think. When you go to the car dealership and you're walking around that car dealership and you're deciding what car you want, a percentage of your decision is going to be what your friends think. When you're walking with the realtor and you're looking at neighborhoods and places you want to live, a part of that would be what your friends think. If you really study it, now I'm not saying this is all of you, but a majority of you, most of the decisions that you make in life are based on what your friends think. But here's the tricky thing about it. Boy, is there so much pride in people when you try to get them to admit that. A lot of you are in debt right now based on what your friends think. Now, some of you who have been watching my videos lately may know that, hey, I've had this sweatshirt on probably in every video. This is kind of my workout sweatshirt. I'm not going to buy a, a new sweatshirt for every different video that I have. No. You know? Yeah, it's like one or two. Get the job done. Wash it. Take care of it. Whatever. Right? But some of you don't want to wear the same thing over and over. You go to your workplace and you may think, well, my friend saw me in that. So this week I got to have this. And you're constantly buying new things to always impress the other people. Now, some of you may think, well, this sounds more like a woman. No. <laughs> men are in this thing also. When it comes to boats, there's some men out there who are buying boats and competing against their uh, peers or brothers and siblings or whatever on who has the best boat. I know a particular member of my family they get a car, the other person gets a car. They get this, the other person gets this, and they're back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Right? It's like life is one big competition. But at the end of the day, let me ask you a question. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? To buy all those things to try to impress people who really don't even give a damn about you. Who talk behind your back. If you do get something nice, they'll be like, well, Susie got that on her credit card. You know? Or Jim. Jim got a boat. But that boat is going to put him back. His family's not going to be able to see. He can't, he can't afford that boat. You know, I mean, it just, it just, it's just drama. Like right now. The area that I live in, well, there's no really rundown area in the area I'm living in. It's, not, it's a low crime, whatever. But it's not like your Bel Air place. And I've been living here for quite some time since I've came here, right? And then there'll be some people that may frown on this area. But hey, I was getting ready to go pay cash for a house the other day. Was outbid. Most of my friends who live in those neighborhoods can't do that. So, really, does it really matter? Because the people that are judging you aren't necessarily in a good place themselves. Because they're doing the same thing you're doing. We, they are all keeping up with the Joneses. They're all keeping up with the Joneses. They're all trying to outdo everyone else. And if you live that lifestyle, it's going to put debt in your life. It's going to constantly put stress in your life that you constantly got to be better. You're not just satisfied with what you have or what you are. Think about that. You're alone. There's no one to impress. There's no one to, to say, you know, he's wrong about this. Whatever. You don't have to impress nobody. A lot of you who make comments, no one sees you. 
So if what I'm saying is true, embrace it. And I'm not saying it's everybody. But don't get me wrong. I got a hunch that it's a majority of you. So with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching the channel. I'm always going to bring some controversy. I'm always going to get you to think about something that you probably never thought about. And until next time, guys, signing off.